So hello and welcome to the new series uh, of Maven. So today, uh, this video onwards, we will be learning uh, Maven. What is Maven and why it is used? Uh, so basically, this is a, a crash course type course wherein uh, uh, this course is definitely a beginner friendly course. Uh, the people who don't have any uh, knowledge, uh, previous knowledge regarding the Maven. So this is a beginner friendly course. Uh, so yeah this is the in this video we will be talking how the course flow the course introduction how this course is going to be covered what are the topic that i i will be teaching you okay so let's get started uh, so first thing first uh, you you would ask me what is maven and why to learn it okay so to answer it uh, i have one uh, answer over here you can see uh, maven is a popular build automation tool for java based project that helps and manage and organize the software development process so you know over the software development process uh, there is a lot being covered in inside in making of the software right right starting from the planning till the testing part a lot of phases comes wherein it uh, like our uh, agile methodology is there in, in which iteration iteration over iteration uh, the software is uh, produced and uh, optimized right so for that uh, we required some project management or the build automation tools so there there comes maven uh, it, it is a popular build automation tool for java based project so so when you create a java project so you can use a maven for a build automation tool okay so let's move forward it provides a standard way to define a project dependencies uh, build processes and project structure making it easier for developer to manage and maintain complex java application so uh, consider one scenario uh, you are building one project and you you uh, let's suppose you have uh, implemented 10 dependencies in your project right so you have used uh, 10 different libraries in your project uh, to build your project and uh, so there are dependencies right in your project so you have to mention those dependencies you have to uh, write the version version which you are using uh, for the for your project right so let's suppose uh, you have used uh, let me write it, write it over here you have used 10 dependencies and you are writing which version to use for the dependencies okay so this is a manual task pretty manual task that you do uh, when you write your uh, project when you work on your project so what maven does is you tell the maven that these are the dependencies you are uh, implementing in your project and rest the man maven will uh, do 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 the work okay so uh, let's suppose you are implementing uh, sp spring you are using spring framework in your uh, project all right so uh, i'm just giving one example uh, if you are implementing spring version 4 so you have written spring version 4 is there so now the spring version 5 comes uh, in near future and then you have to again come and uh, change those dependencies and you have to write again do the modification inside your code so that is pretty hectic part and that maven covers over here maven uh, covers all the dependencies and it will automatically do all those upgradation part in your project okay so that is how this second point works and maven uh, handles your dependencies okay so third point is maven uses a declarative approach to configuration and relies on xml files called pom.xml to describe the project structure dependencies and build processes okay so there is one important file in when when we talk about the maven is pom.xml okay so this file you have to create when whenever you are using maven in your project uh, so in this file what it contains it, its project structure dependencies and build processes so these are the core structure of your project right so without dependencies your project can't work your how the project structure is gonna work for the build processes of the project is going to there so this is a pretty uh, important file for your project so we'll have one separate video on a pom.xml how, how what it covers and how why it is important we'll cover all that in, in detail okay so next point is it also offers a vast variety of open source libraries and plugins that can be easily integrated in your project okay so so to so to understand this point so you just go in your browser whatever browser you are using and write maven plugins and of the very first uh, link that you can see is uh, that is the official maven apache org you can open this and you can see these are the these are the plugins that 
Maven Maven has okay report reporting plugins are there uh, core plugins are there so you can check out here uh, all those uh, description is also there uh, and one one good thing is the git and github uh, repository link is uh, also there you can check that out we'll be covering uh, again we have one separate video on this this one also plugins and one more thing is maven repositories right so you go in your browser and write maven repositories just hit enter and as you can see very first is the official link for the maven repository you go there uh, and yeah you can see this this section contains the new in maven so this is the latest version you can see when it is released and he, these are the new repositories of maven we again we cover what are repositories in maven in detail we have one separate video on that and on that as well okay we'll cover that one also okay so let's move forward and and see what are the features of maven okay so first feature is again dependence dependency management so as i said maven simplifies the manage uh, project management of the project dependencies by providing a centralized repository of libraries and framework it automatically downloads and manage the dependency as i said here instead of uh, you writing the those dependencies manually maven does all all this task automatically uh, by itself and which makes it easy to update our dependencies without worrying about the conflicts all right so next is project standardization maven provides a standard project structure that is widely adopted in the java community the standardization makes it easier for the developer to understand to contribute to the project even they are new to them okay so it, as i said it's beginner friendly as well so you have you can learn it okay easily and build automation uh, maven automates the build process makes it easy to compile test and package the project and developers can uh, define the build goals and execute them in a single command as well we'll see how we can do it uh, we will create one project use, uh, using java and using maven as well okay and uh, next is plugin system so maven has a powerful plugin system that enables the developers to extend the functionality of the build process okay so there are many plugins available that can be easily integrated into projects to perform the specific task uh, task in science for example to uh, perform such as uh, generating the documentation deploying the applications or running the test so all these we can do by using using these plugins so we'll see how we can we can do this okay and next is consistent builds maven ensures consistent builds across the different environment by using the declarative approach to configuration declarative approach in the sense we create one pom.xml file as i said here in inside which we are writing our dependencies project structure and build processes as well okay and uh, last one is integration with id so this is a pretty good feature of maven uh, maven integrates with the popular id such as eclipse intellij id netbeans visual studio code which makes it easy to manage the project within id so you don't have to worry about uh, where, where i can use the maven so in the market we have a very popular ids uh, as of these days like visual studio code intellij idea eclipse you can use maven with this id itself the maven is integrated inside this id it's okay and so overall maven simplifies the development uh, software development process and makes it easier for the developer to manage the complex java based project okay so enough about theory and i guess this is enough motivation that for you required to learn the maven so from the next video onwards we will be seeing uh, in depth and in more practical manner how we can uh, use maven what are the plugins what are the repositories okay and uh, in our next video we will see what are the software requires for you to get started with the maven and i hope you will like this series and do one thing like share and subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one